guys, Jeremy from Modified RC here today. Uh, today we're going to take a little quick look at the uh, Surveil Zone 600 TVL uh, board camera and also their new TS5828 video transmitter. It's a 600 milliwatt transmitter, 32 channels, ultra small, perfect for the mini quads. Uh, I've got them set up out here today, uh, just kind of on a tripod, nothing special. Uh, I've got the board camera pointed down the road and uh, the video transmitter just kind of taped up here on uh, one of my air blades. So uh, I've got a couple batteries down here just giving it a run. And just to, I, I've actually had to sit sitting up here running here for a second just to give you an idea of the temperatures that it runs at. Okay, there's a little bit of a breeze out here, not much, but we're looking at 136-ish, 120-ish, depending on where you hit it at. So they do run a little warm, you know, but most of these little small transmitters, even the uh, 200 milliwatt uh, version ran uh, a little bit warm. Uh, they just need good airflow. So as long as you've got good airflow, you shouldn't have any problems with it. And obviously, if you get it in prop wash, you, you should be good to go. So uh, you can see, let me see if I get y'all a good picture here. I don't know if it's going to work inside of my goggles or not. Yeah, I think it's too much glare right here, but uh, very, very good picture, very clear picture. Uh, I couldn't get my monitor to work, so. Uh, unfortunately, I can't give you all a uh, picture of what actually is on the monitor. Um, I'll have to work on that and see what the problem is. Uh, but we're going to do a little short distance test here. I'm going to walk down to the uh, end of the cold sack down there. It's about uh, uh, probably two or three football fields. So it's, it's got a pretty good distance amount to it. So we're going to walk down there. We're going to see if we, if we still have signal on the uh, goggles here. So let's uh, get started. So. Like I said, right now we're still perfectly good picture. Got some idiot honking the horn. That's what I've got is, I don't know if you can see the, down where the stop sign's at. I don't know if you can still see it or not, but that's kind of where the transmitter's at, past there. So we're getting a little bit of trucks, trucks and vehicles between us. and kind of doing that on purpose to get a little something between us and, uh, you know, I'm getting a little bit of a little bit of fuzz in it, but nothing that's not flyable. Uh, wish I could uh, have my monitor here so I could show y'all what I'm seeing in the goggles. We may have to redo this, especially after the uh, people down there. Okay, now I've just ducked behind all these houses, uh, you know, looking down the road here. So we've got a bunch of cars in between us, lots of houses in between us, and. I'm getting break up, but still nothing that can't be flown with. Let me see if I can get this in here where y'all can see this here. Okay, there we go. As you can see, I mean, there's, I'm getting break up, but there is you know, a signal. It's, it's flyable. And that's with lots of houses between, between us and cars and all that good stuff down in there. So, uh, let me walk back out here to where we have more of a line of sight, less obstacles. You can already see it clearing up. We're passing uh, where the people, or where the cars and stuff were at. So, you can see, okay, now I'm in direct line of sight with the uh, transmitter and antenna down there. And uh, we have perfect, almost perfect signal. So, and that's, you know, this is what it looks like from where I'm at. You know, probably two football fields long, and those were all the cars and trucks and houses and everything that we had in the middle of the two. So, uh, give me just a second to walk back down there. We'll throw the, uh, the digital thermometer back out there and, and uh, see what we read, we read on that uh, video transmitter and uh, see if it's heated up any and uh, see if it's at an acceptable level. So far, uh, I haven't seen any lines. Uh, develop inside the video here uh, which is typical for a uh, video transmitter when it starts heating up to a point that it's uh, too much thermally uh, this one here is perfectly clear so uh, I don't see that as being a, a problem it's probably well within its operating temperatures so let's uh, get on down here I'll fast forward a cut through this so yeah Okay, as we get back up here, you can see see my rig here. This is what we're working with here. 
and uh, let me put these goggles down and we'll shoot it with a digital thermometer here and see what we're looking at temperature wise. Okay, so I'm seeing peaks of about 160. And, uh, you know, it's pretty warm. I mean, it's not, it's not to the point that you know, the backside that you're a little bit warm, believe it or not. I think the, let's see what we got back here. A hot spot right there. Okay, there we go. That's where I was feeling at then. Uh, not too bad. Uh, mid 130s in the back. It looks like we're peaking up to uh, about 160 up front. Like I said, it's not too too bad. There's a little bit of breeze out here, but if, obviously if we had prop wash, uh, it wouldn't be as hot as it is now. So um, anyway, so there you go. I'll, I'll see how this looks in the camera, and if it looks good, I'll. I'll post up the video instead of trying to fix the monitor, but uh, so far, camera looks very good. It actually looks better than the 600 TVL I have on my camera or on my mini quad now, um, and that uh, mini video transmitter. Uh, it's the same size as the TS uh, 5823, which is a 200 milliwatt, uh, but this one puts out 600 milliwatts, so a little bit more penetrating power. So uh, most likely, this one will be going to my quad and replacing the uh, uh, one that I currently have on there. So. Anyway, this is Jeremy from Modified RC. Uh, build it, fly it, modify it. We'll see you next time.